life and heavy and brown. Bring me a unicorn to ride about the town. May 18th, 1926. I met Ruth for tea at the Savoy, where we sat at a table and ate little cucumber sandwiches and watched dowdy people dance and talk. It was all too lovely. going to break away from all natural instincts and dash away from family influence and wishes. I feel like the cow who was hopefully first named Daisy, but for later renamed Sahara. La, 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 la. Sunday the 29th, left Paris, glad to go. This, this whole week, week has been, been a horrible, revolting waste. I hate motorboats, I hate hotels, I hate architecture that I don't understand. I hate guidebooks. And I don't know why I bother telling people the truth when they ask me what I think about this or that, or what I feel about this or that. It was the most terrific effort not to scream with impatience at them. I sat and dug my nails into my palms and smiled gently when they noticed me. Wasting everything, I out my vigor and my youth. Diluting the confusion, I am choosing what is truth. I've got a use for future plans, used to care, but now I don't do almost anything I can to hide the fact I'll die alone. Rest assured I will escape. I saw standing against the great stone pillar a tall, slim boy in evening dress, so much more poised than I expected. Not at all those grinning Lindy pictures. A firm mouth, clear, straight blue eyes. I couldn't speak. I did not at all look at him, but knew where he was the whole time behind that sofa. And then he gives me this brown helmet and these goggles, and he said, when I do this, go up. When I do this, go down. When I do this, he says, you've got the controls. There was this perfect demon just hanging over me. I can't tell you the rest.
my little embroidery and ribbon world smash. And then the other night, there was this wind just tearing down. It was like this great wave river that was just breaking its own banks. First day of December en route to New York. At 4.30 I finished and had a long orange jade with a maraschino cherry. It was very absorbing. You merged into it so that when you walk out of it, you still have bits of it sticking to you. You live through a thin veil of it for a while, 